We also have another channel. It's called Terrell Fixes All Skits. Check it out. It's all the skits, all the past skits from over 500 videos that we have out there. So we're putting new ones up weekly. So go to that new channel, Terrell Fixes All Skits, and there's your dinner. Woo! Check out Terrell Fixes All Skits. Got all the funny parts in the video. Subscribe today. Pterodactyl here. Today's video is going to be on this here. Brakes and scrap a 18 horse vanguard that's mounted to this pressure washer. And this thing is running on one cylinder. And we're going to find out why. And you're never going to believe why it's running on one cylinder. So this thing came in and it starts and runs, but it doesn't have any power. So the first thing I do is I check to see if it's running on both cylinders. And how I do that is I just simply wet my fingers with my tongue and touch the pipes. And this pipe was hot and this pipe was ice cold. So that tells me it's not running on this side. So there's going to be a couple reasons why it's not running on this cylinder. No spark or no compression. So I pull the plug out, plug's all wet, because it's not running. Well, maybe it's got a foul plug. Put a new plug in it. I tested it for spark. I checked the spark. It had plenty of spark. So that's why I thought, okay, probably just follow the plug on this side. Put a new plug in it, started it back up, ran it. This side's ice cold, this side's hot. Still not running, all right. It's probably got a valve problem. Maybe push rod came off. Maybe the valve guide moved in the head. Pull the valve cover off. Turn it over by hand. Valves are going up and down. Okay, push rods aren't bent. All right. So then I uh, thought, well, maybe it's got no compression. Maybe the rings are stuck on this side. Like on that other engine I did. Get the compression tester. Did a compression test. 125 com pounds of compression on this side. All right, so it's got plenty of compression. So I'm like, why won't this thing run on this side? So then I start thinking, maybe it's not getting any gas to this side. So I pull, pull, start pulling it apart, and I'm like, well, it's a, it's a one barrel carb because I've had two barrel carburetors where. One side wasn't getting any fuel and it wouldn't fire or it wouldn't run hot on one side. It had a lack of power on one side or it's spit and sputter. But this is a one barrel carburetor. So guess what? You're never going to guess. You're never, ever, ever in a million years right now as you're watching this video going to know why it's not running on this side. I know. But you don't know. So put in the comments what you think it is come back tomorrow and I'll tell you. So I started taking the air filter assembly off and I looked down the throat of the carburetor and you'll never guess what's in there. Check it out. Right there. There's a bolt. It's one of the air filter bolts. The base of the air filter assembly. <clears throat> That's this bolt right here must have vibrated out, was dancing around in there, got sucked in the carburetor. There it is. And like I said, the thing would run. You can't throttle this engine up and down, it runs at one speed. So when you're running it, it sounds like it's running at the proper speed because it was holding the throttle open. It wasn't holding it open like it was screaming, it was just holding it open like it's supposed to be. Again, there's no throttle. This, is, this runs at one speed. See, this is fixed. This is the fixed speed. When you move this out of this position, you know, this turns the throttle mechanism, and this is your choke. So let me put it all back together. 
and uh, this guy will be happy to get this back. Put that vent tube back on there. But see, this was the bolt right here that came out of here. So I have to lock tight that back in. So I'll reassemble this and I'll put some blue Loctite on there. And we've got blue Loctite, which we sell in our online store, Velco Cincinnati brand. We also have it in red. But I'll put a few drops on here on all five of these. So that doesn't happen again. And I'll put the plug back in. And then, as Elskin says, Fire it up! Fire it up! Fire it up! Is he here? Is he around here? Is he anywhere in here, around here? Alright, I got it all back together. Let's Let's see how it runs now. Still running a little cool on this side. Better than it was. Still something wrong with this thing. Gonna have to investigate even further. Well, looky here. Pulled off that blower shroud and that's just how them bolts were backed out like that so it's sucking air so that's why it was getting it was getting better you know before I pulled that screw out of there that thing was ice cold I could put my hand on it it wouldn't even you know burn them and then the second time after we put the screw out and started it it was getting warmer to the point where you couldn't put your hand on it but yet it wasn't as hot as this side so it's sucking air through the manifold there. So now I gotta pull the manifold, put two new gaskets on it, put it back together. They're hot for this thing. They need this thing back. This is for one of the local dairy farms. And they use this to clean the stalls. And they have two of them, and the other one's over there, and that one's down, and that one's got some major issues going on. So this was the easier of the two to fix. I'm gonna have to weld up this muffkin unless I unless I got one. I'll have to look around and see. I doubt if I have one. I'm just probably gonna have to patch this. But this thing is a mess. But we gotta get it done. We gotta get it in, we gotta get it out. So I'll pull that manifold, put two new intake manifold gaskets on it, and then we'll we'll go from there.
All right, replace those intake manifold gaskets, and now it's running like it should. together and get it back to them. So now it's running on both cylinders. And sometimes I don't think I'm running on all cylinders either. <laughs> so if you like this YouTube video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. That's me right there pointing at you. Follow me with your lawn equipment that doesn't run on Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store. Got all kinds of stuff. Hats, spark plug necklace, you name it, we got it. Check it out. There's something there that you want. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Percolating again! Now I just gotta hook the pump back up and put it all back together and get it back to the customer. I gotta weld up the muffin too. There's a few other things I gotta do. But it's percolating again.